Hi everybody, so this is Nate's brother Randy and I want to talk about a HIPAA compliant alternative to using Form Publisher along with Google Forms. Now it's really awesome because just like Form Publisher, it can save a ton of time and this is HIPAA compliant if you signed a BAA with Google because everything is done inside a G Suite. G Suite. So before I jump into uh, the, the formulas and the way that I built uh, built this out. I want to show you my patient intake. So it's really similar to the one that Nate showed in his first video, um, except I added some branching. So depending on what presenting problem they enter, it goes to different sections. So if you have any additional questions about this, go ahead and ask them. We can do a separate video if you'd like. But basically, you just say, click these dots, go to a section based on the answer, and then it goes to those sections, and at the end of the sections, uh, you can tell it where to go next. So, um, and the reason I share that is because right here, how bad is the pain? What makes it worse? How bad is the pain? What makes it worse? So it's repeated for each of those sections. Um, so I just wanted to share that so this will all make sense. So. Uh, now I just want to explain this this formula, and I'll put the formula, copy of the formula, with some explanation down in the notes, um, in the in the description of the video. This is the indirect formula. Okay, so this is the money formula because this will save. This is the core of a ton of time saving uh, possibilities by using Google Forms along with Google Sheets. So indirect, what it says is, go grab the information from column B and then row whatever information is in P5. Whatever whatever row is listed in P5. So in this case, P5 right now has the number two. So it says go grab the data from B2. Okay, and so that's similar with each of these. Um, this one, I formatted the date um, specifically in this cell right here. So um, let's see, that's right here, format. And then I told it a oh, number. There we go. And I told it to do a date. And I specified the type of date formatting I wanted. So over here's a time stat. That's being pulled in with the indirect. Um, this is pulling in the medical conditions. And another thing I did here was combine. I merged a few cells and then aligned it to the top. Um, so that way, if they had a whole lot of presenting pro or not presenting pro med previous medical conditions or current medical conditions, whatever it is, um, that there's plenty of room for that to go there. Oh, and I added wrapping. Okay, so I use that formula again. Now here's where it gets a little bit crazy, um, a little crazier. So, like I said, there was some duplication. Oh, and I should, I sorry, before I talk about dupl duplication, let me talk about these dollar signs. So what that does is, as I copy and paste the formula from cell to cell, the dollar signs means don't try to like intelligently change these. So if I move it over, if I move, if I copy it from row Q and paste it in, or in column Q and paste it in column S, don't suddenly jump this P to be an R, to jump that over two columns just like I did um, where I pasted it because it will do that. So basically this is saying paste exactly what I've told you to paste here and don't try to do something smart on your own because I don't want you to. So those dollar signs can be uh, helpful as well. So now for these duplications, so like I said, the branching brought in some duplicate questions. And so what this does is basically say pull in the information from G2 right now because again we specified row 2 so G2, I2 and K2 bring it in from all of them well because of the branching two of those will always be blank and luckily um, Google Sheets doesn't throw any sort of error instead it just brings in all of them and uh, and if it's blank it just doesn't have anything there so it kinda makes it nice because otherwise uh, the formula could get a lot more complicated to tell it what to do if one of them's blank. So in this case, it just brings them all in and just ignores the ones that are empty. So this one is similar because again, we had that same duplication. So now here, this is the money shot, okay? Change it to a three, press enter, boom. 
Okay, because of the way that formula is written, if we just say now bring in the data from, from column three, then or from row three, then all of a sudden it just brings in that new that new data. Okay. Now just as also a best uh, a best practice, if you want to add anything to these, don't type it down here because um, you know if I did something, let's just say I did like evaluation and I did sprained wrist. I, I mean, I'm sure that's a lot less detail than you'd put in an evaluation. But then as I change it to two, oh, that stays the same. Lame. Okay, instead, put evaluation up here. And I can do sprained wrist, sprained elbow. And now, if I use that same indirect formula, okay, so I'm just going to copy this one here, paste it down here, but we don't want um, F and P5. Instead, we want O. So that's going to be column O, and then whatever row is specified. So sprained wrist. So now, if I change it, boom, it changes along with it over to sprained elbow. All right, now, so that's a, a, something you're gonna wanna do, like typing down in here. I wouldn't touch this area, really. So now it's like, uh, here's another piece of amazingness, all right? So you select the area, I hit print, then print selected cells. There you go. So there's the formatted patient intake, you know, you can format these things however you want. Um, and it will and it will save that uh, the that I'm sorry, and then it will print that way. So I can change the fonts. I could add uh, borders to some of the cells, whatever I want. Um, there's some additional like uh, formatting things that you can do here as well. Um, in terms of grid lines, but we don't want those grid lines, right? All right. So I'll hit cancel there. So that's kind of the, the core of what I wanted to share here. So if you um, if you appreciate these videos, you know, we'd love it if you could like the video, subscribe to our channel. Um, if you had any questions about what I presented, go ahead and put those in the comments um, and we'd be happy to do additional videos to answer some of those questions. Um, and if you don't already have, a, have G Suite and you live in the United States or, uh, or Canada, then we have a link below that you can use to sign up for it and, uh, and along with some promo codes that if you use you'll get 20% off your first year. So um, appreciate you watching the video and, uh, and we will talk to you later.